Well, good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G, and happy Labor Day, which actually is intertwined with Catholic roots, if you did not know, um, as far as Labor Day goes. Um, so anyway, yeah, it is today is Monday, September 6th, the 23rd Monday of Ordinary Time, and it is the feast day of St. Eleutherius, who was an abbot in the 500s, who was supposedly good friends with Pope Gregory the Great. Um, St. Eleutherus is known for his wonderful piety and his life of simplicity, and he is said to have raised a dead man to life through prayer and fasting. Now, whenever stuff like that happens, that is not St. Eleutherius himself raising the dead man to life. That is God working through St. Eleutherus as an instrument of faith. So, that is that. Is that. I didn't really find, I, did, I couldn't find what he is the patron saint of. So, but he's a saint, evidently, and canonized. Let's get to the gospel. Today's gospel is from Luke chapter 6, verses 6 through 11. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. On another Sabbath, he went into the synagogue and taught, and there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath, so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he realized their intentions and said to the man with the withered hand, Come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil? to save life rather than to destroy it. Looking around at them all, he then said to them, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. Man! So Jesus getting attacked again for being nothing but, nothing but a great guy. Um, you know, he, healing this withered man's hand, whose hand has probably been withered his entire life, and now he's some random, some random man, Jesus, the Son of God, is telling him to raise his hand. Um, so, like that had to be a remarkable moment and a remarkable scene, but yet Jesus is getting attacked for it. And what stood out to me really is, um. You know, they were like the, the, the Pharisees and the scribes. Like they, they, like they were already trying to find a reason to to condemn Jesus, right? They didn't like it because they were Jesus was going against the, the Jewish faith and, and their and their faith and what they were teaching, and like that pride took over. And they're like, well, they can't. There can't be somebody holier than us. Um, and Jesus knows that they're trying to watch him and try to find reasons to accuse him. But Jesus doesn't give in to the social temptations and just stop. In fact, he, he doubles down and he tells the withered man to come up and stand to him. And Jesus is pretty much like, you know what? Hold my beer. And then he does his work. That thing is really cool. So um, I think that can be a challenge for us too of like uh, of reflection and what we can take to prayer of how convicted are we in and not really caring so much about the social pressures of life and things that maybe we want to do within our conscience and what a desire that we have, but we're afraid to act upon those desires due to what other people might think or say or do as a result of you acting upon your conscious and your thoughts and your deepest longings and desires. You know, there's a sense of there's a sense of maturity, um, and also just knowing who you are in such a way that you're convicted that it doesn't matter what everybody else is going to say about you, of what it is that you want to do, as long as it, of course, is rooted in virtue, and rooted in the truth of the gospels. Um, I think we can use Jesus to model that, as he did in the gospel this morning. So. How much do you allow society and social pressures affect you for the better or for the worse?
Have a great day. God bless. And keep it real. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.